Today we're going to be cooking sausage milk gravy on top of our wood stove. Stay tuned. All right, let's continue cooking on our wood stove. Now we're just going to make sausage milk gravy. You're going to need a package. We're just using a package of our pasture-raised pigs that we had here last year. Or you can use a pound of sausage. Make sure your skillet's nice and warm. You're just going to want to brown up your meat. It's so rewarding when you get to cook with the meat from the animals you raised, knowing how good the food's going to be for you and your family. Oh, it smells so good. The butcher we took them to did such a nice job seasoning the meat. Mmm. Boy, I'll tell you what, this sausage milk gravy is going to go great with the biscuits we made earlier. I'll leave a link right here to the video we made on cooking the biscuits on top of the wood stove. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're cooking with your wood stove is how to control the temperature. What I need to do a little while ago, I need to get a little warmer, so I put some more wood in. I got a damper on the chimney, and then my stove itself also has a damper, so I could open everything up, get it going nice and hot, and then just close it down once I have the meat all browned up. Now that the meat's all nice and browned, I got a third of a cup of flour, and I'm going to put in about half of it, mix it all in. Until the sausage has absorbed it nicely. And just keep mixing it in a little at a time, stirring it. Whew! Standing in front of the stove, it's getting warm, I tell you. I couldn't imagine having to cook in front of these all year round. Once you get your flour all mixed up, you're going to need three to four cups of milk. We use raw milk. I'm just gonna add about half of it in. Just stir it around till it thickens up a little bit. You just wanna keep adding a little bit of the milk and just keep stirring it until it thickens up. We buy raw milk from the food co-op. It's from a local dairy farmer, but the milk starts to spoil in about four days and we can't drink a gallon that fast. So what we'll do is we, when we come home from the grocery store, we'll just pour half of it into two quarts and we freeze it. And that way, come Wednesday, when we're starting to run out of milk, we'll take a quart out of the freezer and we'll have it for the weekend. It's pretty expensive, so we don't want to be wasting it. So you just want to keep stirring occasionally. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. And then the sauce is going to thicken up nicely. You'll get a nice gravy consistency out of it. I grabbed a piece of the biscuit we cooked earlier. Let's try this. That's good. If you want, you can season it with salt and pepper, but our sausage has got plenty of flavor. We don't need to. Let me know what you guys think about the recipe. Leave it down in the comments below. Let me know if you've ever cooked on top of your wood stove, and if you have, what do you usually cook on it? I'll also leave the recipe in the description for you. So, until next time, we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.